Junkies, welcome back. Horror Junkies 509, Kyle the 13th, coming at you again, you guys. And today is going to be a tag video. Uh, this is known as the uh, Killer Flicks Tag, which is a uh, another group on Facebook, another horror group on Facebook I just recently am checking out. Um, but on this tag video, I was tagged by Amy over at Amy's Autopsy Report. So uh, if you haven't checked uh, that her video out, go ahead and check that one out. And there's a lot of other ones. Um, this is a uh, group that's run by a guy named Drum Dums. Uh, I've checked out his channel out, and it's really awesome too. So if you haven't checked that one out, uh, I definitely highly recommend it, you guys. So this uh, tag video has 14 questions. So let's go ahead and dig into this, and let's see what we have. Because uh, I didn't prepare any of these questions, you guys, so I'm going to be kind of flying off the cuff. So if some of these questions have been asked to me before, and it was different, then that's just kind of how it's going to go. So hopefully uh, I can remember what I've done before. Alright guys, uh, so, kind of give you guys a little backstory on this, uh, on that Facebook group, the Killer Flicks, they asked, uh, questions, um, uh, for this tag video, and people put in, and put in questions, and those are the questions that, uh, are gonna be going on today, so, uh, let's go ahead and dig right into this, so, number one, uh, who is your favorite vampire character, performance, etc., in a Killer Flick, and this one was, uh, put in by Matt Festel, and I'm sorry, if I butcher your guys' names, I do thoroughly apologize, uh, not the strongest reader or pronouncer here. Uh, but for me, when it comes down to vampires, I'm not really crazy about vampire movies or anything like that. Uh, but always, my favorite vampire character has always been Blade. Uh, Wesley Snipes, man. Uh, that is the coolest vampire out there. And uh, if you're going for badass, you, you have a one-stop shop there. All right. Number two, what is your very first killer flick that opened your eyes to the world of horror? And that's been uh, put into... Uh, been asked by Mason Lake. Uh, my very first horror, uh, anything that I remember, uh, I, I was probably like seven or eight probably, and I just remember one night my parents went to bed. I always waited to hear when they went to bed, their TV went off, and I would turn mine on. And uh, I caught the end of Friday the 13th Part 3 when Jason just barely walks out donning the hockey mask for the very first time. Uh, that has been my first original memory for such a long time. Uh, but after that, I mean, I watched all of part four, so it's been kind of just horror ever since. So uh, that is my very earliest memory, though. Uh, number three, uh, what is the what is a really standout geological setting in a killer fleet kill, killer flick? Uh, I.e., the thing is set in our Antarctica. Any <clears throat> any you really remember that that you loved for being so original? And that was uh, asked by Jake. Kuklowski, sorry, like I said, I might butcher this. Uh, as far as any geological settings, uh, hmm. Like I said, you guys, I didn't have these planned. Uh, I'm gonna go with kind of the, um, the My Bloody Valentine, because I really enjoyed the uh, coal mine setting, because it was really claustrophobic and really dark, and you know, it's not used very often. Just probably those two movies that I'm aware of, uh, the original and the remake. But um, that, I, th I definitely like that setting. It was really cool. Uh, I'm also really partial to grocery stores, like Intruder, but uh, I'll go with uh, My Bloody Valentine on this one. All right, number four. What killer flick are you embarrassed to say that you love? And that was asked by Dylan Clancy. And I can honestly say I am not embarrassed about any uh, any film that I like. I mean, I like it, and you know, I will defend it as much as I can, but you know... Sometimes when it's a bad movie, you know, and you know it, it's just, but you like it anyway. Um, what can I say? But uh, definitely not embarrassed of anything. All right, let's see. Uh, number five. There are a lot of killer flicks out there based on true events. Do you have a favorite? And how accurate do you think the story is? And that was uh, asked by Nick Pusia. I am probably butchered the hell out of that, so I do dearly apologize. And, um... My favorite flick that's based on uh, true events is going to be The Town That Dreaded Sundown. I uh, love that freaking movie to death. And um, uh, how how original do I, th how close do I think? I think it's very, very close. I mean, I can't imagine. I don't feel like with the uh, with the one they made, they went too over the top. So I would, I would say it's pretty close to the story from what I know of it. Definitely. Uh, number six. What director would you like to see cross over franchises and make a killer flick? Example. Rob Zombie doing a Friday the 13th. And that was asked by uh, Cody Archer. And if I had to say anything like that, I'm going to go with um, Tom McLaughlin. 
Uh, he directed Friday the 13th Part 6, and I really liked, like, how he made it, like, kind of old school and gothic and really kind of, like, he really brought the Friday the 13th uh, uh, franchise up a notch when he made his, so I would love to see him do maybe a Halloween movie or maybe even a Chucky movie. I think it would be really cool. Uh, his ideas, I mean, he also did uh, One Dark Night. I really think he would have something cool to do. All right, number seven. Uh, what killer flick movie was the toughest watch? Example, Triangle, Inside, uh, Salo, Audition, etc. And this was also asked by uh, Jason Miller. Um, you know, I, I watched Inside and, you know, it wasn't hard to watch. It was very, very, very bloody and I didn't really expect it. But I can't really remember anything that was really hard to watch. Um, maybe at the time, like, it was like Human Centipede 2. Just because everyone was just getting bashed in the head. But I mean, it, it, I watch it all the time now when, I, when I'm in the mood for that. But uh, I can't say anything's really been too tough to watch. Probably the first time I watched uh, Cannibal Holocaust. That one's pretty rough. That was one of the ones, ones I, like, I was rethinking my life a little bit. But don't worry. I recovered. Alrighty. Um, let's go to question eight. Who is your favorite killer flick final girl other than Jamie Lee Curtis? And that was uh, asked by... Um, I don't even know how to say that. Um, Esther Meeks. I'm going to go with that. Um, great question. I'm kind of glad you kind of kept Jamie Lee Curtis out of it. Uh, one of my favorite final girls has always been Amy Steele from Friday the 13th Part 2. Uh, just a lovable badass. I loved her from the very first time I ever saw Part 2. And uh, I just think she was uh, she was good looking. And, you know, she kicked, she kicked Jason's ass. And, you know, she did it with style, I feel like. Alrighty, let's go to uh, question number nine. Which killer flick has scarred you for life? Uh, this was asked by Gabrielle uh, Caper and Lamont Smith. Um, probably the only one that's really scarred me for life, but not up until now. It's definitely a movie I watch all the time now. But when I was a kid, first time I ever watched The, uh, um, the Exorcist, that face that kind of flashes on the screen and... Just, that got me, and that was one of those sleepover nights where my friend fell asleep on me, and I was just, just going it alone in this movie. Um, so that one's the one that m reminds me the most of being scarred for life, but now I love The Exorcist, so it is what it is. All right, you guys, let's go to uh, question number 10. What killer flick has the most killer soundtrack? And that was uh, asked by um, Erica uh, Critchenboyer. Sorry, <laughs> I do thoroughly apologize. Uh, when it comes to soundtracks, I mean, hmm. Probably one that's always going to come to mind is Return of the Living Dead. I love, the, I love the soundtrack to that thing. I mean, the actual music and then the instrumental stuff they make for the movie. It's just all good stuff, good fun stuff. I really enjoy it. Uh, so I'm going to go with Return of the Living Dead. Uh, number 11. What is the What is the single greatest kill in a killer flick? And that was asked by uh, DJ Castano. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, uh, greatest single kill in a killer flick. Uh, there's a lot of them. Oh, man. Um, let's see here. What's something that's going to come to mind really fast? Uh, probably what I'm going to go with is uh, Intruders. Just since I mentioned it earlier when, he's, when he kind of shoves the guy's face through the meat slicer. I mean, it was, it's nothing too special, but I mean, I think the effects were pretty good for it at the time. And, uh, yeah, I really like that movie just because it has a lot of great kills. But that's the one that comes to mind the quickest is the Meat Slicer from Intruder. All right. Number 12. What do you think is the best performance in a killer flick? Asked by Jason Smith. Best performance. Like, does it have to be the killer or can it be anything? Um... Let's see here. Look at my movies. I that, that one's gonna be kind of hard. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go with uh, Corey Feldman in Friday 13th Part 4 just uh, because he was a kid actor and I feel like he did a pretty good job when we, normally we get pretty crappy child actors in horror, horror horror movies, our killer flicks per se. 
Uh, so I'm going to go with Corey Feldman. I'm not a huge fan of the guy, but that's the one thing that comes up pretty quick. Uh, he was a damn good child actor in uh, horror movies. Okay. Um, number 13. What killer flick horror location would you like to visit? And that was asked by uh, Justin Adams. Uh, this is quite easy for me. I want, I mean, just because it's been coming up and they're going to be doing this. Uh, they're going to be doing campouts at the original Friday the 13th camp. And I would love to go there. I want to go there. And uh, I really think that's something I definitely need to do. Especially since it's still standing. Uh, but yeah, that was that's a, that's an easy one for me. Um, now number 14. Uh, this one is de asked by uh, Deborah Voorhees. Uh, this is a uh, star from Friday the 13th Part 5. Uh, yeah, she is... Uh, so this is her question, so let's see what she's got. Are there any killer, are there any killers from a killer flick that you sympathize, sympathize with? And, uh, like always, you guys, I'm gonna have to go with Jason Voorhees on this one because, uh, he's just, a uh, misunderstood mama's boy, uh, kinda got the shitty end of the stick seeing his mom get killed and, you know, he's back for revenge. Uh, but before that, you guys, he was just a kid who might, was probably minding his own business, being at summer camp and kids mess with him and... Tried to kill him, pushed him in the lake, uh, presumed he was dead. Uh, so I've always been sympathetic for Jason Voorhees because we got a connection of both being a mama's boy. So, you know, uh, so far my my mom isn't crazy. So, you know, that's a good sign. Um, uh, but that's definitely going to be my one I sympathize with. All right, you guys, and that is all 14 questions for you guys. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope, let me guys know if you guys, uh, anything stood out to you. Let me know if uh, you might have similar answers to me. Um, I'm probably not going to tag anybody on this one, you guys, uh, but if you guys want to do it, I'm going to try and copy the, uh, questions and put them in my, uh, description box. So if that's something you guys want to do, all power to you, just, uh, definitely tag it, uh, Killer Flicks tag video, and, uh, yeah, and that's kind of, kind of be all I got for this one, you guys. Uh, I will be coming back soon with my, uh, update video. I have definitely time for me to do another update video for all the movies I've been buying. Uh, but that's going to do it for me, Horror Junkies 509, Kyle 13th, signing out. Just until next time, you guys. And you guys already know it, I've been sentenced to life. I'm a horror lifer. You guys have a killer day.